Despite the hashtag MeToo movement, Hollywood is taking its debauchery and debasement of American culture to a new level. The entertainment industry is a primary influencer of American culture, and psychiatrists say children often mimic what they hear and see on television and in movies. Now, I was astonished recently when I saw this online video of Desmond, a 10-year-old drag queen. I put on some lip balm and that's when it began. You can do whatever you want with it, no matter what. Even if it looks like a disaster, just go out with it and it'll look fabulous. This look is a deconstructed Wonder Woman look. Desmond says he was first exposed to dressing up in drag when he saw a RuPaul performance on TV. To Desmond's parents, I say this. Your son seems like a wonderful child, a good kid, but really? A drag queen at age 10? A 10-year-old doesn't have a mature understanding of sex. He's a child. Most parents would encourage their children to be doctors, lawyers, teachers, engineers once they become adults. But a 10-year-old drag queen? Why? You must be careful because whether it's LGBT fashion shows or the entertainment industry, there are plenty of predators out there ready to harm children. Just ask former child actor Corey Feldman, who said this about Hollywood. I can tell you that the number one problem in Hollywood was and is and always will be pedophilia. That's the biggest problem for children in this industry. The casting couch even applies to children. Oh, yeah. And while Hollywood obsesses over gun control and the hashtag MeToo movement, it's doing little to protect child actors and the American public from sexual predators and pedophiles. Actually, Hollywood is doing the opposite. At the Academy Awards ceremonies this year, an Oscar was awarded to the film Call Me By Your Name. It received the award for Best Adapted Screenplay. The movie's about an affair between a 17-year-old named Elio and a 24-year-old man, Oliver. The movie's described as an exploration of desire and power of impulses toward one another. The director said the story was about two boys who grow in the film. Boys? Really? You mean a 17-year-old minor, a child, and a 24-year-old man, an adult? Nature has cunning ways of finding our weakest spot. Call me by your name and I'll call you by mine. Did you know that approximately 60,000 children are sexually abused in the United States each year? Those are the ones we know about. How many more go unreported? Well, one in four girls and one in six boys will be abused sexually before they turn 18. So why did Hollywood honor that film this year? Why in 2003 did it honor a known pedophile, director Roman Polanski? And the Oscar goes to Roman Polanski for the pianist. Polanski was arrested in 1977 after drugging and raping a 13-year-old girl. He pled guilty to having unlawful sex with a minor, but Hollywood awarded him an Oscar anyway for Best Director. So why did the Academy even allow him to be nominated, knowing that he was a rapist and a pedophile? What message did that send to the world? Despite honoring a child rapist with an Oscar and awarding another one to a film about the sexual seduction of a minor, Hollywood still wonders why the Oscar ratings have hit an all-time low. And I'll tell you, it's not just because of the in-your-face political positions that television viewers are forced to endure. It's also because of the hypocrisy that we see in a time of hashtag MeToo. Hollywood, it's time to stop the hypocrisy. Either you believe in protecting children or you don't. If you do, start acting like it. As you raise your fist and shout words of support for women who are abused on the casting couch, don't forget our children and grandchildren, what's being poured into their minds on the screens, the messages you send by your actions. And here's a warning to heed from the Bible. In Matthew 18, 6, Jesus said, If anyone causes one of these little ones, those who believe in me, to stumble, it would be better for them to have a large millstone hung around their neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. Well, I don't know about you, but at the end of the day, I'm just kind of glad to take this tie off my neck. I wouldn't want a millstone placed around it, or even worse, would you? Folks, let's not forget to protect our kids from shootings in schools, but also let's protect them from pedophiles and sexual exploitation. 
in words and in deeds. Well, that's it from the Global Lane this week. Be sure to catch us on Facebook, iTunes, YouTube, SoundCloud, and Twitter. And until next time, be blessed.